Hello there my fellow YouTubers, this is Simply Tutorials, where the tutorials are simple. And in this video I'm going to be showing you a little bit about green screen effects within Sony Vegas. Stay tuned. Okay, first off we're going to need the green screen video, which I have right here. I don't know how well this is going to show up, but I'm going to try to get to show it the best I can. Oh. Right. This is from Best Green Screen, Free Green Screen Effects. Um, I'll have a link to his channel in the description if you would like to download a green screen effect from him. Okay, first it's just a simple fire by the best green screens. And we're going to basically manipulate that into this right here. This picture I got. Right there. Which I got from Moog Morg file. Um Morg website. I'll just put a link in the description to where you can download that. Um so let's go ahead and drag and drop our green screen right there and our picture there as well so we're gonna exit that and then we're gonna put our green screen down and no because we're gonna render this out to a higher quality and I'm gonna get rid of his little intro thing that he has so we have just the fire so get as close as I can and then kinda frame by frame and tilt there well actually it's very easy Go ahead. There we go. Okay. Now we have just the fire, and then we're gonna get rid of his little intro. I mean, exit outro thing. Oh, oh there's a little bit of sound there, so let's get rid of the sound. There we go. Now we got just the fire burning. Um, it should be burning. Oop. All right, there should work. Okay. Now we got just the fire, so we're gonna drag and drop our picture. And we're going to size the picture by clicking on it all the way to the size of the video right there. Then we're going to go to Video FX. Now, you probably won't have half of these, so I'm just going to click that, click the little minus button. And you're going to want to make sure that Sony's clicked. And then we're going to scroll down until we see Chroma Keyer. Okay, and then we're going to click and drag it to the the fire effect, the green screen. And we are going to select our green color by clicking this little eyedropper tool. Actually first, let's uncheck it. There we go. And then the eyedropper tool so we get the full green. And then we'll check it back and you'll notice that it is gone. And for some, it depends on what green screen um, video you're using. Um, you might want to like, because a fire is a little bit, it's not necessarily invisible, but you kind of give it a little bit of a threshold. You got your blur amount if you want a far away fire or whatever. You know, just play with it till you get it what you want. We're just going to leave it like that. And then we're going to go to the right here the motion excuse me, the track motion which is a resize and move tool that I like using I prefer it you can always go to video pan and crop right there and you can do that but I don't like it as much unless I'm wanting to resize it in its current position so I'm just gonna do the track motion which to me is a lot easier we're gonna resize it down and we're going to want to move it to, say, that little stool right there. Size it down a little more. There. Now when we push play, it looks like it's on fire. It's not a very good green screen effect, but because I have to keep things royalty free and stuff like that, then I have, I have a limited selection on what I could use. But I hope this does get the point across. Um, 
I do hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, you can always give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can always give me a thumbs down. If I missed something and you'd like to know more about it, always hit me up in the comment section below. Um, if you have any suggestions for the channel, you can always hit me up in the comment section below. Or you can just private message me. It does not matter. Links as always in the description. And I shall see you in the next video.